okay let's first import all the libraries that is gym numpy and matplotlib and then we have to initialize our environment as well okay okay matplotlib yeah so first of all we will we have to initialize our environment so env equal to gym dot make frozen lake vo yeah so uh, also make sure you you know uh, uh, watch the monte carlo uh, uh, the Python implementation because you know there I have mentioned what all uh, requirement that is needed to you know set up the environment the RL you know environment so that you know all this goes uh, code that I am running you know it will run without any error okay now we will set our parameters what what all parameter that is required first is alpha okay that is our learning rate then we have gamma the discount factor basically okay then we have epsilon at what factor we want to give our you know exploring rate that is 0 0.1 and number of episode you want to try out so I am setting you know 5000 <coughs> next we will initialize our queue table okay so obviously it will be zeros and p dot zeros of our you know uh, action space as well as state so what is that env dot observations observation space dot n dot n comma action space okay dot n so we are done with initialization initialization of our queue table now we have to initialize the list to store the reward per episode okay so it will be uh, let's say reward list okay it will be empty list now we will you know run the queue learning algorithm and then we'll write the uh, I mean TD function okay so basically TD formula so for now for I in range of number of episodes that we have defined then first of all what we need to do we need to reset our environment okay so make sure it you know reset everything to zero obviously that will be false and episode reward equal to zero okay now while not done we will write epsilon greedy policy policy okay here np dot if np dot random dot uniform less than epsilon So basically, uh, giving a random action, okay? Else action equal to np dot arg max of our queue table where I will pass the state, okay? Now after it take a random action what we will be doing we will be you know observe the new state and reward for that action okay so observe new state and reward okay so here new state comma reward comma done and last one is info so we don't want to 
you know read uh, I mean implement anywhere so let's give underscore otherwise it will throw error because it returned four outputs okay so we have passed our action okay now whatever it comes we need to update our Q value using a TD you know target okay so let's implement that as well state comma action equal to Q of state comma action again plus alpha into reward plus gamma into <coughs> max of our new state okay and it will get subtracted with our Q state comma action okay so this is done now our old uh, I mean old state will become new state then episode reward will be you know implemented uh, appended with the reward and then we'll append everything uh, I mean the reward list with the value we have got from episode reward okay reward li list dot append episode list epi episode reward okay yeah so this is done now what we'll do we'll plot okay B basically uh, how, how long basically how what is the number of episode it takes to you know learn the things okay so let's plot the plot plt dot plot reward list okay plt dot x label which which will will be episode and then plt dot y label okay it will be reward and then reward per episode title it will be and later on what will show is plt dot show okay so basically what uh, up till here we have done is so in this implementation what we are doing we first initializing our value function v to 0 for each state and uh, uh, and then we set our learning rate that is alpha uh, you know, discount factor that is gamma and we run the temporal learning algorithm for a fixed number of episodes so each time we choose an action based on epsilon greedy uh, action uh, we observe the next state and the reward okay and, and and then we update the value function estimate for the current state using TD error that you see here okay TD target and which is the difference between observed and the predicted reward okay that is what we are doing here okay now finally we are plotting um, I mean the rewards obtained in each episode to see how agent performance is you know over time and the cute Q that you see is the Q table uh, which is like a 2D array where row represents the state and the column represents the action. Each element of the table stores the expected reward for you know taking a specific action in a specific state where epsilon is the exploration rate which determines the probability of taking an action a random action instead of you know greedy action with the highest expected reward. Okay now, now let's run it. So we have error okay it should be frozen like one okay, it's running okay we see our I mean haven't learned anything so let's rerun if, if if it is a mistake we will see it again okay something mistakes a mistake is happening here so let's figure out what is that okay let me first <coughs> you know comment it comment this out so that it will be easy for everybody to understand so what I am doing here is initializing the in environment ok 
here. Okay. Then we have this is for learning rate. Count factor, then per episode. Okay, all are done. Okay, let's run it again. Okay, we had something error, I think. Okay, now it is solved. So let's understand the output. So the output of the code, uh, code is a plot that show how the agent performance improve over time or you can say episodes. So in this case, the y-axis represents the score cumulative reward and obtained by the agent in the each episode while the x-axis represents the episode number. So the plot shows that in, uh, you know, agent gen uh, initially obtained very low score that is zero, but over time it improves, you know, um improves and it start to obtain a higher score okay now from here you can see right i mean the score is almost zero up till 3500 episodes okay so so uh, uh, so the agent obtain a score of one uh is uh, in one episode which means that it achieve you know uh, the maximum possible reward for that episode you can see this one okay here it has achieved one in all of the episode which means it has uh, uh, you know achieved the maximum reward for that episode in all other episode the uh, agent you know obtained with the score zero that you see here which means that it doesn't you know achieve the goal so overall the plot shows the that agent is gradually learning to navigate the environment and achieve the goal and uh, i mean the every score increases over time because after y the 4000 iteration i mean the episode you can see that there is no zero score okay there is all almost one okay so that means that after 4000 episode the you know p uh, um, this basically uh, learning uh, the model has learned and then it able to understand how to navigate the environment to achieve the goal because after s after this point you can see that there is almost like zero percent or one percent of them are you know uh, they have scored reward zero but almost every you know single episode it has you know scored one okay so that is what we are getting from uh, this implementation the you know result okay so next we will see sarsa algorithm okay